Nancy Pelosi continues to negotiate. And today, Sunday morning, she will be negotiating with Steve Mnuchin a little bit more. And what will they be discussing? Well, I have her statement overnight on what's going to be happening this Sunday morning. It's early mornings here on LLA as the second half hour of our early mornings broadcast continues. Get ready and let's get to it. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Early Mornings, part two, our second broadcast at the bottom of the hour at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast. Thank you for tuning in. The coast toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. I got my cup of coffee. I think I need a, I think I need a double <laughs> because I'm about to read some Nancy Pelosi. Um, but I really appreciate you for tuning in. Let's get to 300,000 subscribers. We're about 5,000 away. So let's get to it. Really exciting. I mean, just so exciting. Five months, six months into this and 300,000 subscribers. Uh, it's just insane. It's absolutely incredible. Let's keep on going and let's hit, let's hit half a million. Also like this video. In this video, I'll be going over what's going to be happening today between Steve and Nancy. Um, spoiler alert, they're not getting their hair done. <laughs> they're working on your stimulus and will there be progress or will there be, you know, an impasse? I'll be getting to that right now. All right. The breaking news is that Nancy Pelosi overnight gave indications of where they're going and what they're doing and what's going to happen today. The question is, have they achieved much in the last couple of days during those negotiations? They've spent about a one hour day and, uh, and what she has done is talk a lot about language. And I don't particularly, I'm not, it doesn't make me excited. Uh, she's argued about words, not numbers. The secretary yesterday uh, said yesterday that they're willing to accept our language on testing, but they have some changes. So we're still waiting to see what the changes are because you know the devil and the angels are in the details. I mean, this is what's silly. Um, Steve Mnuchin on Friday said, I'm not going to, go over testing any longer. I'm going to use her language and here's the money. I'm going to raise my offer where, you know, at 185-ish, we'll keep on going up. She came back overnight and said, you know, they did change the words. They changed the words again. So we're going to look at the words and the letters they changed. And uh, we have a problem. It's just, you know, I, it, it's starting to sound like a negative Nancy. <laughs> yeah. But she did speak to Nicole Wallace. And Nicole Wallace on MSNBC asked Pelosi, what's going on? What's going on, Nance? What is the latest status on the talks? I know that while you don't talk to the president, you have worked with Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. What's the latest on those talks? Are they ongoing? Well, the secretary said yesterday that they're willing to accept our language, but they have some changes. We're waiting to see those changes. As soon as I get it, which I haven't got to yet, then we're going to talk about it. Probably on Sunday because we haven't got to it yet today probably on sunday we're making progress we have to clarify in lang we have clarification language because we have some big differences that is to say when it comes to the amount that's one disagreement that's not just about the money it's about the funding and the funding is about giving the president a slush fund for testing a slush fund for health care providers a slush fund for prescriptions what scientists tell us we need to stop the spread of the virus this is the core problem everything else is a symptom Okay, so she's yeah, the remainder of the sentence and the next remainder of the pa paragraph says science, science, and science. I'm gonna have to edit some of this for you because it's just yeah, it's, I don't want you to get a headache. It's too early to be popping at all. Uh, some of here you say we have to choose faith or science. I say science is an answer for our prayers. Okay, I'm gonna skip this paragraph as well. Um, next one, but it is it's so sad. I don't know if you saw the debate in Kentucky where Amy McGrath was talking to McConnell and saying why aren't you addressing this problem? And he laughed. He laughed. There's no laughing matter, Mr. Leader. This is no laughing matter. They have never taken this serious. Okay, so we're doing digs, digs, digs. <laughs> Needless to say, Nicole Wallace cuts her off. A sort of very Wolf Blitzer-ish. And says, Speaker Pelosi, Speaker Pelosi, dash, 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 Speaker Pelosi. Um, and then Pelosi keeps on talking. We'll talk again probably on Sunday. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's getting the point to get to the point. We'll talk again probably on Sunday. We, well, we can't speak before we see where we're going on the language, but I'll tell you one more thing, and i like to make one more point. Sure, says Nicole. One of the other points of disagreements is how we treat low-income working families. We have in our bill an earned income tax credit, child credit, child-dependent tax credit, which means substantial assistance to American workers, low-income families. This is a tax credit, by the way, Nicole. It's it's something that I've worked with President Bush in the most substantial way. He understood it. What they have in their bill is a giant tax break for the wealthiest people in the country. They say it's good policy and nothing to do with coronavirus. It was retroactive. And they're saying, no, we don't think we need a tax credit for the American working families. So that's another issue. Um, she just keeps on going on and on and on. <laughs> I don't want to put you to sleep. You just woke up on Sunday morning, you know. Uh, We've had our, condi our, condi our, our, our topics continue. Um, it just goes on and on. Um, and then it talks about uh, the late John McCain. Okay. So as you see in, in a four-page printout of Nancy Pelosi's interview to asking, what do you do in Sunday? She really couldn't give a straight answer. Um, she basically said that I'm going to focus on testing, which is a non-issue. I mean, it's literally a non-issue. Steve Benucci has offered exactly what she wants for testing. And she has to go three, paragraph, three, cent, three pages long about George Bush and tax credits and science and faith. It's like, um, there's no, nothing here to negotiate about. There's nothing to negotiate. It's already agreed upon. We already gave you your language. It's this type of uh, coverage that I give to you so you understand why we're in the hot mess express that we are in and now. That she's basically arguing with herself about nothing. That we're not even to the point of, you know, where the multiple stimulus checks dance. Why are you at $500 for children? Why did you get rid of hazard pay? Why are adult dependents at only... Uh, $500. You know, we're not even to the really good stuff, the meaty stuff. She's still going on and about science and George Bush Sr. and George Bush Jr. It's that type of stuff that makes you sort of worried <laughs> if, you know, uh, she has something else in her coffee this morning. Uh, maybe I should as well. I mean, you know, listening to her is just... Um, <laughs> needless to say, What's important to understand as we start the new day is that there's going to be a lot of fake narratives this coming week. This coming week, you're going to see fake narratives from everyone, from Mitch, which you heard on the recording before this, from the president, from Mnuchin, from Pelosi. And the bottom line is that you have to remain focused because ultimately this is your push, your final push with, you know, 17, 16 days left to the election to get stimulus. What's important to understand is that you're owed multiple stimulus checks, MSC. Hashtag MSC. You've been through this pandemic and you're waiting around for six months. And this woman who can't even agree upon language wants you to wait another six months. Imagine telling Americans in a first world country that they're supposed to wait an entire year to get a stimulus relief in their hands. It's totally insane. But ultimately, this is why I want you to push. The polls across the country now are not good for this president. He's behind. He's heading to a loss. This is not Hillary Donald. This is not where the polls were close and that ultimately the polls were very, very wrong. This time the polls are not close. So even if they are overinflated in one way, he's still very far behind. In the swing states, he's only ahead in two swing states and by a matter of a point or two points. What I detailed to you last night is that if he did take the $800 billion of, of COVID-19 relief that is sitting around from CARES Act 1, repurposed and sent it by executive orders, two stimulus checks at least, he would literally be ahead in all those swing states. It's so obvious. It makes you wonder who's running his campaign. Does he really want to lose? But let me go over some of your incredible questions from yesterday morning and throughout the day. Clarissa, due to the recent COVID-19 outbreak, there's been a lot of unemployment. Jamie, if Trump wasn't so smart, I would if Trump wasn't so smart, I would say otherwise. But I think he has something up his sleeve after this election for the people. Melinda, they should give us backup checks. Sonia, Pelosi thinks she's more powerful now. Debbie, they aren't hoping help hoppling more people. Sherry, if they're not willing to give us the money, they should be willing to vote. Uh, vote out. Melissa, Misty, they don't care about us. There really is nothing else to talk about. Lisa, I'm voting straight red ticket. Like these, like Pelosi need to be voted out. And for Mitch McConnell, I would, I would even vote out of him out of discretion. 
Um, I don't know. The sentence is a little confusing. Uh, but thank you for your comments. <laughs> Shay, Trump was able to sign an executive order from the, for this ages ago. He won't do anything to help the American people, but still expects them to vote for him? Seriously? Amelia, people will present the voting places uh, and there'll be empty ballot paper. Uh, Mary, let's all say send Nancy a payment overdue bill. I love that. Linda, we need stimulus now. Esther, we need those back checks. Aaron, I think we should have been getting at least $2,000 monthly checks for everybody since it started. That's hashtag MSC. Theodore, the politicians don't care. Anne, um, back with the same comment. James, homeless people with coronavirus, the walking dead. Ronnie Hessen, we're drowning and legislators are tossing bricks at us instead of life vests um, while yelling at boats are on the way. I love that comment. And with that, I'm going to end. Join me next on Mornings LLA at 830 a.m. where I'll have a lot of breaking details. This is your short, concise, early morning broadcast. But I hope you're going good this morning. Hope you got your coffee going. The toast is toast and the butter's budding. And the bacon's on the grill. Go to the Funnest Channel. Subscribe. We're going to get it to 300,000. Let's do it. Also like this video. Coming up next is Mornings LLA. Join me at 830 a.m. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay in my life for more. Thank you.